Hey guys, real quick before we get into today's video, I want to thank our video sponsor, which is Sonoran Desert Institute. SDI is an online school offering programs and courses specific to the firearm industry. If you want to learn about subjects like gunsmithing, shooting, sports management, firearm repair, and many others for the sake of just having the knowledge or making a career out of it, SDI is certainly something you guys should take a look at. They even have several different funding options available as well if that's something you guys are interested in. But I'll be sure to put a link in the description to Sonoran Desert Institute so you guys feel free to check them out and kind of get started in your journey that way. But again, kind of exciting to think you guys can make a career out of the subject. But anyway, without any further ado, let's get on to today's video. Hey, what's going on guys? Brandon here with Texas Plinking with a video on a Glock. This is only the third Glock I've ever owned, uh, and I believe the third one I've ever made a video with. I like Glocks and I appreciate them, but from a recreational shooter's point of view, I kind of like uh, other things, a little bit more silly, things that are more Texas Plinking oriented. Anyway, but this Glock actually kind of piqued my interest quite a bit. What it is, is a replica of an older Glock of where it all began. So if you want to come over here, I'll go ahead and unbox it for you. But this is what is labeled the P80. And it's pretty much a replica of the Glock 17 Gen 1. Now, I'm not going to pretend to be a Glock historian, okay? But uh, I did do a little bit of a crash course on this one uh, just a little bit ago. So I think it's enough to show you guys and tell you guys about it. But mostly I want to shoot it. So in the box, kind of cool, you get this over box here where it all began, the Glock P80. And then we have got a certificate of authenticity. All very, very cool. Makes it seem more expensive than it is. And the price actually wasn't too bad. We'll get on that in a second. But it came in this kind of Tupperware container, as people call it kind of harkens back to, well, I wasn't around back, back then, but apparently of how they kind of got uh, shipped out. So very cool. We got one 17 round mag uh, in there already, one on the side. It's not the original style mags, uh, drop free. Uh, these are the drop free. The original ones weren't. Uh, these are better. So that's all good. There's a couple of differences with the original from what I have done quick research on. So I'll kind of go over it. It's actually pretty cool. It's a, it's a little guy win story. And those are always kind of fun to keep up with. But a gentleman by the name of Gaston Glock uh, in Austria, saw that the Austrian military uh, put out a solicitation for a new service pistol, and a lot of people obviously submitted. Um, and he saw that, and he thought he would develop a Glock, or a gun, uh, and just call it the Glock. Uh, ended up being the Gen 17, or I'm sorry, the Gen 1 of the Glock 17. And the Austrian military adopted that one. So again, little guy wins, they labeled it the P80. So for them to bring it back and label it a P80, thought that was kind of cool. Of course, there were a little bit of uh, differences with this new one. Uh, that's a collaboration between Glock and Lipsys. Lipsys is the uh, distributor of these. Um, a couple little differences. The finish itself looks really, really good, but it's different. Uh, this is like a DLC-like type coating. Uh, the other one they couldn't do because of some kind of environmental bullcrap. I don't know. And uh, the spring guide rod captured versus the original was not. Very, very neat. Of course, I've never held, seen in person, or shot an original. So I'd imagine it's pretty close just based off what others have said. But very, very cool. There's also another difference, something to do with the serial number placement. Of course, we need them kind of on the frame legality reason. So anything that they did to get it correct, they did other than if it kind of needed to, I don't know, if it became too complex because legality things. But yeah, like I said, little man kind of victory uh, as far as getting that contract, a uh, very big deal. And that was in 1982. That was a good year for guns. So they adopted the Glock 17, the P80. And then on the state side of things, uh, Ronnie Barrett, uh, the Barrett M82 came into fruition, 1982. So a pretty good year for guns. All right, so that's about all the talking I wanna do. If you guys wanna get more tabletop, kind of more dedicated to the history, other people did better. So uh, I got some steel targets, so we'll blast around a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and load up here. Like I said, came with two of these 17 round mags. Came with a little cleaning kit, as most Glocks do. Came with this little plunger to make it a little easier to load. But we're just gonna load it up the way you guys have seen in this channel before, because I am very thankful for ETS, Elite Tactical Systems, for sponsoring these videos. We're just gonna grab a whole lot of them here. All right, if you guys saw the video I did last video, I was showing off these targets, the uh, Dueling Tree and the Texas Star. That coupon code should still be active uh, by the time I post this video. Texas Planking will save you guys 15% on anything from challenge targets, and those are some cool targets. On that last video, I bring that up because I kind of embarrassed myself when I did tease this gun on that Texas Star, so I'll see if I can redeem myself. I'll warm up with some silhouettes and maybe the uh, Dueling Tree and see if I can uh, get some confidence, but I got two mags, 17 rounds each. Let's see it. All right.
I was hitting that dueling tree, by the way. I think I have to adjust the tilt to make sure they get knocked around. Let me try the bottom one. All right, I did miss that one. Took a little bit. There we go. Where am I? Oh, I'm high. All right, now that I know it seems to be shooting a little high, let me try to aim about half a uh, target low. Or a full target low. Good lord. All right, well, one thing I wanted to say a bit earlier, totally forgot, I do want to thank uh, my friend uh, Jackson over at Saddle Rock Armory, because this was actually a impulsive purchase, which is cool because they're actually kind of hot right now. Jackson went ahead and let me take the one that was meant to be the demo. So thanks Jackson at Saddle Rock Armory. They're here in Austin, Texas, they're uh, my FFL. So they've been awesome. Okay, so as far as the P80 itself though, if I'm being totally honest, I think it is a cool piece and I'm going to keep it in my little collection for quite a bit, just out of appreciation for what early guns kind of allowed new guns to become. As far as recreational shooting, if I'm totally being honest, this probably won't come out that much. It is a Glock at the end of the day. I respect them. I think they're super, super cool. But for someone like me, a bit silly and kind of recreational shooting, I stay away from polymer frame striker fires typically, and this is kind of the OG of them. So like, again, I respect it for what it allowed guns to become and develop as. Um, and this is just a cool piece to know it's new based off an old one. Very, very cool piece of modern made history. So I appreciate it and I think it's really cool and I'll shoot it here and there. Maybe I'll look uh, kind of cool bring it to a public gun range. As far as bringing it out here though, I enjoy shooting other guns and right now nine millimeter is uh, quite expensive. That's my take on it. Anyway, hope you guys learned something. You guys are trying to get one. I'm not steering you guys away. Again, I totally appreciate them and I recommend you get one if you can find one. Uh, last bit, I actually totally forgot to mention, I paid about 599 bucks for it. Uh, so there you go. You justify that if you want to. Uh, I think it's not too bad. It is a Glock at the end of the day, uh, but very, very cool. Who knows? Maybe in like five, 10 years, these new retro ones would be sought after. I don't know, but it's cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you guys next time. Take care.